and welcome to another bike and another restoration. Or in this case, it's more of a Pimp My Ride bike build. We're breaking all the rules with this bike. Why? Because on this channel, we're generally about vintage retro road bikes, but we're going to be giving this carbon rally bike a very nice retro twist. This is a Rally Ravino C5. It came in red and also this deep blue which was sold with the full Shimano Ultegra Di2 as stock. Rally have been producing bikes for over a hundred years, yet for some reason now they've stopped producing the road bikes, which I feel is a real shame and we have done so many Rally road bikes on this channel that I thought this one would be a great one to mix up and celebrate the Rally brand and the success of the racing history of Rally. So, our bike here, this, as I say, is exactly how I got the bike itself. It was fully loaded with Shimano Di2, so it does have these blanking caps on here. So before I could get on with any actual build of this bike, what I had to make sure is that we got hold of the conversion kit, because it would have been an expensive build to do. I contacted Rally Direct, and we've got some new caps here to put on the frame when we're ready to rebuild the bike. I cannot wait for that. So, the bike itself, it's got an FSA seat post, FSA head, uh, headset, which was standard, which was with the bike itself, and it's also got the Rally own brand RSP handlebar stem. Now, we've had that slammed already, that looks really well. Uh, as I say, when I got the frame, it was up here, so that looks a lot better in that respect. Um, what we are going to be doing, though, we're going to be giving this bike a complete revamp look so we're going to be sending this off to a very close friend of mine so we're going to go and have a look and I'll actually take you through the process of this we're going to have the bike repainted and uh, a complete new look on that so it should look really good but before we do that what we're going to have to do just replay it take off the uh, seat post and the headset and also the most important part the head head badge there is well the rally head badge which is very good and iconic so let's get a move on and crack on with that Brilliant, well there's the frame all ready to go to the paint shop. I've not clamped this by the way, and under here was really complicated. So top tip, if you're struggling with anything like that, just take a quick photograph on your phone, something like that, something to refer to, because there's loads of bits on the side here, and obviously it's a minefield regards to putting all these back in the right place. So top tip, take a photograph, let's get down to the paint shop and get cracking with that. Okay, brilliant. Well, the mailman has been, there's a big hole in my bank account and it's got my name on. So it can only mean one thing, which is the group set. So I just thought that I'd share this with you while we're waiting for the frame to get finished off. I can't wait to get that back. So yeah, let's get this box open and have a look what we've got. Well, this is the cassette sprocket, it's 11 speed and we've gone with the Shimano 105 group set, it's the 5800 range, um, so yes, the cassette, we've gone with 1128 tooth, this is what I generally ride and it's a, a good range of gears. So yes, we've got this and we've also got some vision wheels on the way to us, um, so I can actually get on with putting the cassette on uh, prior to getting this frame back, so I'll be getting on with that in a minute. Um, well, we've got some dual pivot calipers, there's one, two, uh, we've got a front brazed on uh, front derailleur, so I 105 obviously, um, the bottom bracket, well we need that, 11 speed chain, we've got a short length uh, rear derailleur, Okay, well that's fitting the 1128 uh, cassettes, that's fine. And we've also got our dual control levers. 
Um, the links though, obviously the combination with the brake lever and the gear lever and yes, they look great. So, <coughs> crank set, let's have a look. It's like Christmas day. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, 175 crank arm, uh, pedal arm. Uh, the crank sets, the uh, chain rings are 36 52. So that's the gear ratio. Uh, on the front we've got a 36.52 and 11.28 on the rear, which is what I generally ride and I say it does give a good range of gears. So let's get this cassette on the wheels and take it from there. I cannot believe it. Just have a closer look at this frame. I have never been so excited about building a bike up. The frame was finished off by Mark at MR Creations. I'm absolutely loving it. Everything you see here is all airbrushed and no decals have been used. Just check out the all important head badge with the ghosting just behind it. It looks absolutely amazing. And a sparkle has been added to the yellow, which I feel really does set this bike off. So why the banana team? Well, it was very close to my heart. Around 1989, if you're in the UK, you'll know what all this bike was about. Um, I'll pop a picture up for you there. Uh, this is me on my first Rally Banana. This is my first ever real road bike. It was 531C uh, tubing and I love this bike. I used to ride around this area on this bike many years ago and I just thought it'd be lovely to reproduce uh, a bicycle and celebrate the Rally brand um, with a bike that felt retro but had that modern feel to it to rip some hills up. We are going to be doing that so hang around for that. That is on its way. Um, but yes, that's why we've gone with this uh, this colour scheme and yes it looks amazing I cannot stop looking at it uh, absolutely amazing I've never been so excited to build a bike up so well, let's get on so anyway the saddle we've gone with a suede turbo L1 saddle very flat indeed it's brand spanking new no expense spared on this one and we've also got the lever stickers which I asked you guys in a previous video to vote for which ones we should go for. I've got them here. These are exclusive to Bike at UK. We've got over a hundred designs to choose from and these actually fit on your levers. So I've got these here but I'm not going to reveal who, which one is the winner just yet. You'll have to wait until the build. Um, but yes I've got them all ready to go here and we've also got a torque wrench. We've got a carbon frame here so we are going to have to work with this torque wrench. Um, I don't want to be breaking this frame, that would be an absolute disaster. We've got the group set all ready to go there, we've gone through that already, and we've got the nice Vision um, Team Comp 30 wheel set with the Victoria Corsa tyres on. They look amazing and very retro indeed. So what are we waiting for? I can't wait. Let's get this bike built up. Wow, well it's took a little longer than usual to put this bike together but what an amazing result it is. I cannot stop looking at this bike. Um, the actual levers we went with B so thanks so much for everyone that voted A or B uh, but yes over 60% of you voted for B and they really do look great on this bike and set it off. Uh, the frame itself we've gone through with the yellow sparkle looks really good and the coarser tyres really do look retro. This really is a dream bike for me. To have such a modern ride and all the retro colours, I cannot wait to get this bike out and try it out. Loving the L1 turbo saddle. Uh, we've got some clipless pedals on and yeah, it, it just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got some black stealth water bottles, elite bottle uh, cages. Um, we just need to put some bottles in. We've got a couple here, uh, which I use personally. Uh, two nice big bottles, are uh, elite Coca-Cola ones. Very in keeping. 
and great for a long ride. So I am going to be taking this out for quite a good ride. So hang around for that because I cannot wait to get it out and try it out. But before we do that, all we need to do is get changed. Well, we've got all the matching kit, so all that is left to do now is get this bike out and try it out. I cannot wait. Well, this has been the Rally Ravinio project and what a bike this has turned out to be. Not only does it ride amazing, but it looks fantastic as well. It really is the best of both worlds, being modern and with a retro look. 11 speed 105 group set with the vision wheels and the Victoria Corsa tyres. It really does set it off and I could stay on this bike all day long. If you do enjoy watching these videos, as I generally always say, then please subscribe. It's completely free of charge. Other than that, then why not visit our website at bikeituk.club. Thanks for watching and bye for now.